Hi everyone. In this panoramic radiograph, I'm going to share with you something that you're going to see on a regular basis. And it is very important to recognize its feature so that it uh, you, you have a better chance of detecting this entity next time you see it. So besides the impacted, horizontally impacted number 32, take a moment to look at this and think in your head which area would you like to take a PA of. If you've said area of number 18, good job. That's where I would have taken a PA. Particularly, if you look at this radiograph, let me see if I can zoom in. That there's an amorphous opacity or opacities in the distal root of number 18. So now let's take a, a look at the PA of this area. So this is what we see. When you're evaluating a suspicious area, one of the things that you need to get into the habit of doing is paying close attention to the PDL space follow through the mesial root as well as the distal root as best as you can and based on what I'm showing you how would you assess the PDL space of the distal root would you say it looks abnormal would you say it's widened or disrupted do you see a periapical radiolucency or does it look normal it looks normal to me and you look at the crown and you don't see any evidence of any major coronal restoration um, so I don't have you don't have a lot of reason to suspect that there's a apical inflammatory process going on here now we see that this opacity appears to blend into the lamina dura of this apical third of the root and there's no uh, perceivable periapical, excuse me, radiolucency along its border. This opacity appears to uh, not have any major effect on the surrounding structures. The trabecular bone, granted it's sparse in the area, they, they look normal. And also the patient is asymptomatic there's no evidence of periapical radiolucency nor evidence of root resorption or major displacement so given the scenario clinical feature and the radiographic feature what should your diagnosis be at this point i've practically given you what this is and what do you think this is This is an area of osteosclerosis. It's also known as idiopathic osteosclerosis. Once you recognize the pattern, the radiographic pattern of osteosclerosis, you're going to see various size of osteosclerosis, perhaps almost every other patient on panoramic radiograph. So that's how prevalent this, this is. Um, it's not abnormality really per se. Um, so I know a pathologist or excuse me radiologist who wouldn't even call this a lesion but rather he likes to refer this as a radiopaque entity so that's the main takeaway point from this video also it's kind of cool to see that uh, the osseous bony remodeling and mild bone loss and remnants of extraction socket or the lamina dura and how the trabecular bone, the normal bone pattern is gradually uh, being reestablished at this extraction socket. So that's kind of cool. Um, well, anyway, that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.